Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Jumbo Edition 6 box random team break number 6. One spot gets you two teams. All card chip, all teams are in no combos. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. So let's, oh, double up, oh, oh. Your names, and there are the teams right there. And let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four. And ninth and final time. There's nine right there. After nine, we got Douglas down to Franklin. Four to five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Rockies down to the Astros. And here's how the list shakes out for everybody. All right, we got Douglas with the Rockies, Franklin with the Mets, Jason with the Royals, Scott with the Red Sox, Stephen with the Marlins, Robert with the uh, Phillies. Frank, you got the Blue Jays and the Diamondbacks, Jason with the Orioles, Kyle with the Cubs, Dale with the White Sox, Jason with the Angels, Ed with the Twins, Joshua with the Giants, Dale with the Nats, Stephen K with the Guardians, Ed with the Mariners, Douglas with the Padres, Robert with the Rays, Jason with the Pirates, Ed with the Braves, Joshua with the uh, Rangers, Stephen C with the Yankees, Stephen K with the Brew Crew, Scott with the Cardinals, Ed with the Tigers, Sean got my Dodgers and the Reds, Kyle with the A's, and Franklin with the Houston Astros. All right, we're gonna pause, trade windows open. We're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. Thanks for, uh, no deals were done. Thanks for joining me on a Sunday and spending a bit of your Sunday with me. And Jaspies, I appreciate it, thank you. So no deals were done, so that trade, or that list remains the same. Thanks everybody for making this happen, I appreciate it. Here's a fresh jumbo case right here. Let's pop this open. You can see it on this camera right over here. We're doing all six boxes. Break is going to take over an hour, or so if you're re watching this video, you can uh, scrub this video to the end. I'll, I'll do a recap at the end. For those of you watching live, you're, you're kind of stuck with me here. Baseball season is, is right around the corner, though. New sports kicking off. XFL's kicking off. There's Shohei Otani. He's gonna be a big, big topic of conversation, I think, all season long. Will he or won't he be traded? Will he, won't he resign with the Angels? Will he, won't he explore free agency? We'll see. Daytona 500 just wrapped up a few moments ago. Ricky Stanhouse Jr. in overtime is your winner. For those of you who enjoy the golf, Genesis Invitational wrapped up. John Rahm. I mean, that guy is incredible. Local boy Max Homa kept it close, but John Rahm's just, just it's too good. Just sinking long distance pots, just, just amazing. I uh, went to the Genesis Invitational here in Los Angeles on uh, on Saturday. It's a lot of fun. Tiger Woods, got, got to see Tiger Woods. Swing the sticks, followed him for a few holes. Massive crowd around him. He ended up having, having a pretty respectable 
tournament. I mean, he said as long as his body can hold up, majors for sure. I don't know what additional tournaments he's going to do, but majors for sure. Today's February, right? He may need, he may do something in March if he wants a little warm-up tournament before the Masters, maybe a month before the Masters, something like that. That might be something he'll explore doing. All right, let's explore what we've got here. The key, your key rookies, as a reminder for me and you, Adley Rushman and Gunnar Henderson for the Orioles, Riley Green for the Tigers, Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals, Michael Harris, Braves. Now, just in the interest of time, I am going to go fairly quickly here, but if I miss any of those guys, obviously the parallels we're going to be able to catch pretty pretty easily, but the base sometimes is a little difficult. There's uh, Danny Jimenez, 299 for the A's, Kyle. But obviously if we find some of the paper, we'll, we'll sleeve that up right quick. Also, we're going to do uh, left, center, right randomizers on that for those cards. And if I if I miss any of this type of uh, base rookie, don't worry. All card ships, so you'll you'll get all of those. But parallels and obviously hits will obviously catch um, right away. Jason with the Orioles. And I know those are sort of the key rookies that were that were sort of identified early on, but this could be a this could be this has the makings of a real loaded rookie class. So it might be worth just holding on to all of these rookies and just seeing where they end up, you know, throughout the season. There's Logan Webb for the Giants. That's gonna go to Joshua. For the Angels celebrating here. That's 2023, those copper borders are 2023. These ace cards are pretty cool too. There's Michael Harris, nice diving catch here. Ed in the Braves. There's a gold gold border, Michael uh, Harris the second. There's Zach Davies, nice. So here's Zach Davies, Frank Franklin with the uh, Diamondbacks. That's 199, and Ed P. Braves. Nice. Why am I? Did he win the NL Rookie of the Year? No, I don't think so. No, he did. Michael Harris did. Sorry. I think I wanted Spencer, his teammate Spencer Strider to win Rookie of the Year. I thought he was there, but... It's dripping coffee all over myself. Um, but no, Michael Harris, obviously Julio Rodriguez on the, in the AL... We're hoping no sophomore slumps for for uh, well, for both of those guys. It's hashtag good for the hobby. So once again, that was Ed P with the Braves. Your Shohei Otani to four ninety nine. Nice, he's fired up. I like those City Connects as well. That's going to be Xander Bogarts, Boston, and that'll be for Scott. There's some more comfortable in there. Some of these can be numbered as well. Maybe autographed. There's Nolan Gorman. Uh, what are some of the, I don't know if how many people are here in the chat or baseball fans, but what are some of, who are some of the rookies that you're looking out for this season that may be in this Series 1 set? Especially if they're in this Series 1 set, since we're considering we're breaking it right now. Anyone that you're looking out for that you're maybe collecting? Ooh, this is nice. Home field advantage, Shohei Otani. These are very short printed. I think it's not even one per case. Nice. Jason. Jason W. with the Angels. Nice home field advantage. Well, where is he going to go? I think that's the that's the big news. 
I think a lot of Angels fans, well, most Angels fans, seem to be disappointed with Artie Moreno keeping the team, opting not to sell the team. They're hoping him selling the team. I mean, Artie Moreno did get the Angels to a certain tier, a certain level, you know. They weren't doing very well, and they did kind of rise into a certain level, but now they're kind of plateaued a little bit. They can, if they want to take the next step in this market. Miguel Vargas, as a Dodgers fan, I'll be pulling those for Sean Kelly and the Dodgers because I think he's got a little, I think he's got some... Uh, possible rookie of the year buzz around him. We got Trevor Larnock and Garrett Cole to 2023. And that will be for Stephen Carney and the Yankees. Another case is loaded up if you want to get into another one of these tonight. And I believe Teddy Jaspi, who's on Instagram Live right now, doing our personal breaks, has some uh, personal boxes available if you just want to feel free to be greedy. Grab a box for yourself. It's okay. You have our permission. Riley Green for the Tigers. That's for Ed P. Got a Keston Hira, and our autograph is Raleigh Fingers. We're looking for one autograph and two relic cards in every jumbo box. So we got one relic. No, we got the two relics. There was the jersey piece earlier. And then we got the Raleigh Fingers autograph for the A's. Kyle Pace with that. What's up, Kyle? And. Let's see what we got here towards the end. Our personal boxes are only on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. Different website as well, jaspies.com. If you want more of these group breaks, these more of these case breaks, then the, those are here right on YouTube, jaspiescasebreaks.com is that site. For Michael Chavis, 43 out of 76 for the Pirates. Jason with the Buckos. Gonsolin, he loves cats. There's Adley Rushman, former number one overall pick. Nice catch by Tyrone Taylor. All right, box one, done, in the books. Silver packs. Sometimes they can be uh, numbered. And sometimes they can even be autographed. There's a Michael Harris, not numbered. Another one for the Braves. All right, jumbo box number two. Bo Bichette, box hopper for Franklin. Can those be autographed? Maybe. Now, I have this list of MLB, according to BaseballReference.com, I have a list of MLB Rookie of the Year Award winners. Let's go back a number. Let's just look back at the number of years. You know, sometimes winning a Rookie of the Year is a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. What will it be for Julio and Michael Harris? Let's put those silver packs up there. You can see them on the top camera. Um, I feel like Julio Rodriguez is the real deal, right? 
just a quick stat over. He hit 284. Had what a? I'm gonna do the math here. Had a 840 something, 850 something OPS on base plus slugging. Uh, 28 homers, 75 RBIs, and 25 stolen bases. And I think he missed a couple of weeks, right? With some injury, I think he missed a little time too. So those those could could even be bigger numbers. Michael Harris, what about Michael Harris? I feel like he at least. At least here, from my perspective, in Southern California, I don't think he, Michael Harris is really on my radar. But he finished with 297. You know, another 8-4-something OPS, 19 home runs, 64 RBIs, 20 stolen bases. It's not bad. I think he's got a little more on the speed side of things. But almost had a 2020 season, which is pretty solid. Now, previous years, Randy Arozarena, I think, is still hitting pretty well. Jonathan India has kind of fell off a little bit. He was he was your your uh, rookie of the year in 2021. Look at some other years in the when I'm ripping open some some other boxes. And later on, we'll take a look at. Uh, I want to take a. I always like taking. Here's your former rookie of the year. And these blue borders are parallels, but not numbered. I want to take a look at the. 2023 Rookie of the Year odds. It's always, I always want to check in on those and see where the where the market is. On TV, what do I have? All Star Game, NBA All Star Game on TNT. If you want to watch along with me, kind of keep that in the background. I'm not expecting anything. Are they still doing the? I guess I'll find out in a second. I think they're still doing the, the that Elam ending. There's Trent Grisham and a Cody Ballinger to 2023. All right, there's a Cody Bellinger Dodgers edition for Sean. There's another Riley Green for Detroit. That'll be for Ed. And our uh, relic is A-Rod. Yankees edition going to Stephen C. Now, I was so distracted by by the golf this weekend, going to that tournament I was talking about earlier. Did not make any NASCAR picks. I definitely like to make picks for the Tate Hoover 500. Definitely did not make any, uh, did not make any uh, NBA All-Star Weekend picks. Did not make any picks for the three-point contest, the dunk contest, the skills competition. I'm sure I'm kind of into that, but... I'm just gonna miss it. Usually I do okay too. There's another Adley Rushman for Jason and the Orioles. Got a George Kirby and a, another Shohei Otani. So we have the home field advantage. Now we've got the uh, that commemorative team patch that looks really cool. Patchwork of the past patch card. Say that five times fast. Speaking of hoops, uh, Teddy had a buddy in town and they randomly went to a Lakers game the other week and it happened to be LeBron's LeBron's uh, record breaking night Max Stasi to 4.99 and uh, I think Teddy likes basketball but he's not like super into it but obviously any life watching a sport live is always exciting Teddy was Teddy was like man that was really awesome to see to just be a part of history like that it was just kind of Unexpected, and I was unex he was like kind of unexpectedly sort of into it. That's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. Just there's a sport that you kind of aren't into, just go to a game, you know, like you have an MLS team in your uh, 
you know, in your uh, in your hometown or near you. And you're like, man, I don't understand a soccer thing, but look, I mean, MLS games can get pretty cheap, you know, especially if you have kids and you want to do like a, a little outing. It's cool to see. I feel like baseball, if you, baseball is kind of the same thing too, especially if you didn't grow, I grew up like, you know, as a kid going to Dodger games, watching on TV with, you know, friends and family, it was just part of, or, you know, part of our sports, like, experience, my sports viewing experience. So if you grow up with baseball, you can get all the intricacies of the game and, you know, the pace doesn't bother you or anything like that. But I can see where, like, if you grew up watching NFL or, you know, basketball predominantly, to try to watch baseball is a little difficult. But go to a game or two, you know, kind of observe the game. And I think you could change your mind more often than not. If you have like a friend or a coworker, significant other, there's, man, I'm just not into baseball. It doesn't do it for me. Take them to a game. Go to a game or two. There'll be a there'll be a little added appreciation, I would hope, at the very least. They like competition. There's Gonsolin and Tyrone Taylor to 76. Good extension, good catch. Nice play. And your autograph sliding out of here is Charles LeBlanc. Rookie auto for the fish, Stephen Carney. Let's open this sealed little plastic. There we go. Double O four out of one ninety nine. Got some star power right here. Dodgers, Tyler Maley, copper border to 2023 for the Twins. That'll be for Ed. Another box down, another box to go. Oh, let's do those silver packs. And we got a numbered one here. There's a Vinny. Pasqu uh, Pasquantino, 45 out of 75, Jason with the Royals. Got a tiny bit warm in here. Doing all-star player announcements. 2020, your Rookies of the Year, Kyle Lewis in the AL, Devin Williams in the NL. Here's Ricky Henderson, the Man of Steel. I feel like they've had some ups and downs. Jordan Alvarez, Pete Alonzo in 2019. That, those guys are still pretty good. Yeah, Pete Alonzo had 53 homers his rookie year. That'll do it. Year before that was really good too. Shohei Otani in the AL Rookie of the Year, and uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Those guys are still pretty good. I think since 2018, both of those players actually have battled some injuries, and uh, both have bounced back pretty nicely. I think from those. Um, 2017 was a, the Aaron Judge, Cody Bellinger year. 
Cody Ballinger has definitely slid from that from that uh, Rookie of the Year success as well as the subsequent MVP success, but maybe he revives his career in uh, in Chicago. Ron Aaron Judge signing a gigantic deal. In 2016, it was Michael Fulmer and Corey Seager. That's right. Fulmer, how, how's he been doing? I feel like he's still pretty solid. Corey Seager had battled some injuries since then, but he ended up getting paid by the Rangers. 2014 was Jose Abreu, Jacob deGrom. Both of those guys are still pretty good. Um, and 2013 was Will Myers and RIP Jose Fernandez. And what could have been with Jose Fernandez? Will Myers carved out a pretty solid career. 2012, that's a really good one. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper. Multiple, uh, multiple time MVP award winners there. They're pretty good. So maybe the Rookie of the Year award, I'm kind of, kind of looking at it from a top down view like that. Maybe it is a, a good marker of future success. There's Tommy Pham, 2023. That'll be for Boston, that's gonna go to Scott. Vlad Guerrero Jr. and your on-card autograph is Nelson Velasquez, rookie auto for the Cubbies. It's gonna to go to Kyle Pace, there you go, Kyle. You got that late 80s design here. Yeah, 88 design. Got all the info right there. You know, hopefully he gets starts, has a good season, becomes, puts his hat in the running for rookie of the year, and that's a nice hit. Hope springs eternal in the spring, ladies and gentlemen. All these players could be, you can make a case for all of these guys. Here's Liam Hendricks. And here's another league leaders card. That's a 2023, but that'll still be part of that left center right randomizer. Another Gunnar Henderson for the O's. Here are the leaders cards right there. Giants. And we got a Gabriel Moreno. Uh, 185 out of 2023 for the Blue Jays. It's for Franklin. Not seeing Albert Pujols in a uh, in baseball. More Nolan Gorman's for Scott. More Michael Harris's for uh, Ed. And another Adley Rushman for Jason and the Orioles.
Got a relic behind Jonah Bride. It is 10 out of 10, Tim Anderson. 10 Anderson. That goes to Dale and the Chicago White Sox. Nice little number on that Patrick of the Past patch card. Those look pretty cool. And Kyle, you'll get this uh, Jonah Bride to 300. A Corey Lee, Dale Murphy, another Riley Green for Detroit. Ed, at this point now, we want to try to find parallels of those guys, not just their base rookie cards. Another Miguel Vargas, from the Dodgers. Got an Aaron Judge. Oh, there we go. We are just taught. That's what we need. Gunnar Henderson to 2023. And that's for Jason and the Orioles. This is the kind of extra stuff we're looking for here. Six, five, seven out of 2023. Nice. And a Manny Machado. Padres relic. Three out of 25. Manny Machado pretty much saying he's going to opt out and explore free agency. Like, during a spring press conference. Usually dudes are like, we'll see what my decision's going to be. We'll talk about it. You know, right now I'm just focused on this current season. We'll let the chips fall where they may. I haven't made a decision, but I'll make a decision that'll be best for me and my family. Blah, 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 blah. But no, many of I was like, eh. Yeah. That's, that's the plan. I'm going to opt out at the end of the year. Gonna explore free agency. Thanks, guys. There's Michael Macy to 499. So now that sort of that will be hanging over the head of the entire Padres team and organization throughout the year, which is probably a distraction they rather would not have had. We'll see how that plays out. Machado somehow, I'm sure Padres fans aren't too happy, Machado somehow having the knack to uh, just needle you a little bit, just kind of annoy you just a bit. I guess that's just, and he's on, that's on brand, I guess. And we've got a Nolan Arenado, 51 out of 99. Yeah, people, yeah, Jack saying, what's up, Grizzlebees? Jack saying, people, you're not too happy about those comments. Yeah, usually players don't do that. We'll worry about the end of the off season. Let my agent take care of it. But uh, I think his quote was like, but the market has changed. <laughs> and it's like, that's your team, bro. <laughs> They're the ones splashing all this cash. They changed the market, and you you want to get paid too. I get it, but <laughs> I, I mean at least he's honest. But I don't know. I just feel like there was a is there a more diplomatic way to see? Yeah, just when you thought you might like him, is there more? Probably would have been a more diplomatic way of saying that. I I think. I mean, he has an opt-out. That's his right. That he no negotiated that in his contract. It's his every right to do that. I don't know, but maybe keep it to yourself until the end of the season.
So by the end of the, uh, you know, by the end of the 2023 baseball season, after the World Series, after all is said and done, there may be Manny Machado and Shohei Otani on the free agent market. Now we saw, we saw what shortstops commanded in the market this, I guess we're still currently in kind of this past off season, we'll call it. So you saw what the shortstop market was like there. What's the market for, uh, what's the market for Manny Machado? Right, in case you forgot, he finished second in MVP voting last year. 32 home runs, 102 RBIs, nine stolen bases, right? An OPS of almost 900, which is amazing. 37 doubles, 172 hits on the season, 100 runs scored. And I, I mean, I'd probably argue that of the shortstops that were signed last year, I feel like he would be probably the best of all those shortstops, right? Yeah, he saw Soto, what Soto got for a year, and then he's like, hey, maybe. But, I mean, that's what he negotiated in his contract. He has every right to do that. I guess, you know, maybe I'm splitting hairs, but it's just like, it's probably more of a diplomatic way to, to, kind, of, to kind of say that and not rub people the wrong way. But I, I suppose that's kind of his style. Here is Brandon Crawford, piece of his jersey, going to Joshua and the Giants. That's true. I guess he's more of a third baseman now. Still pretty good numbers for a third baseman. Unless he wants to make a switch to shortstop again. I mean, he's it's actually it's a lot younger than I thought. I thought he was a lot older. He's, he's going to turn 31 in July. You know what? This is the kind of guy that the, uh, since Artie Moreno is still the owner, this is the kind of guy the Angels would sign to like a, you know, they're going to anticipate losing this guy, right? So, Otani, so I, <laughs> that's a guy I feel like they will take that Otani money and give like $400 million to Manny Machado for like 10 or 12 years, fully guaranteed. There's Brian Bellow to 299. Doesn't that seem like the move, a move the Angels would make? When's, uh, when's Juan Soto's free agency? Unrestricted free agency. That's got to be after 2024, maybe? There's Mitch Hanniger, black parallel, 66 out of 72. You can have Otani. You can have Otani and Machado this year, and Juan Soto the following year as the big free agent name. Oof. That's a lot of money gonna be thrown around between those three guys. There's Brandon Crawford, City Connect, for Joshua. All right, Soto signed only for 23. That's to avoid arbitration, I think, right? Because I think he still has some arb years on him. Going to cotscontracts.com. No, maybe Spotrack. I don't think they got that information on there yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, uh, he's an unrestricted free agent after in the 2020. Yeah, so after 2024. So he, I think he has another arbitration year. So 2023, this season, he's getting he's going to get paid 23 million. There'll be one more arbitration year in 2024, and at the end of the 2024 season, going into 2025, that's when he's an unrestricted free agent. No more arbitration years or anything like that. So, so that could be a big one. Good question. How much is left on Rendon's contract? Rendon still has 2023, 20, 24, 25, and 26. He has four more years at getting paid $38 million a year. These are bad years for him. Uh, in the pandemic short season, he had, he played 52 games, and then 58 in 2021, and 47 games in As McCormick to 2023. It's Franklin with the Astros. Soto, and there's Yadier Molina to 300. It'll be weird not seeing him in action next year. Yeah, Nats never would have won 2019 World Series out of Rendon. Yeah, I mean, he had an amazing season that year. That was his walk year, and then that was that. He hasn't really put together a decent season since. I mean, if you remember that off season, there were some question marks about, maybe not, you know, maybe not uh, his commitment to the game. I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Anthony Rendon is, is committed to the game, but just, how much does he love baseball has always been sort of a question mark. 54 out of 99. Alex Cobb for the Giants. That'll be for Scott Q. But, I mean, all, and combine that with just injuries. And then what are you going to do? Mike Tower, happy early President's Day to you too. I, I know you want to keep it a surprise, but you can't wait to see which president each breaker chooses to cosplay tomorrow. Here is AJ Mintner to 2023. And here is Ken Waldeshuk, rookie auto for Kyle and the A's. No, I don't think I'll be uh, cosplaying any president. We don't, we don't even get the day off tomorrow. It's not one of the uh, well, not one of the Jaspi holidays.
How long is this pregame ceremony for the NBA All-Star game? Oh, are they they're drafting play? I don't know how that they change this format every year. What are they doing this year? So it's a live draft? Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 50. All right. Second to last box, the penultimate. And then the ultimate. Rafael Devers box topper. Final two silver packs, or the another two silver packs, not the final two. What other baseball news is really happening? White Sox saying them and Elvis, Elvis Andrews agree to a one-year deal. O's hope to have a new lease done this summer. I guess the lease is running out on Camden Yards. Yeah, they're gonna figure that out. The Orioles and more released statement February 1st. that touted a multi-decade public-private partnership to revitalize the Camden Yards sports complex. Cool. Speaking at Sunday's Baltimore Spring Training Complex in Florida, John Angelos said he thinks the new lease will be finished in the next six months. And I guess the All-Star Games in, in Baltimore this year. And looks like we've got Padres, Nick Martinez replaces Kershaw on the World Baseball Classic roster. Kershaw, um, the Associated Press article says he won't be able to participate in the World Baseball Classic and didn't specify the reasons that would prevent him from participating. I think the, I think the reasons were maybe revealed that, that they were, it was suggested that he couldn't get an insurance policy on his contract for the World Baseball Classic. I think that's what it was. That does happen, you know, when, when players are playing internationally like that, they will take out a, or their team asks them to take out an insurance policy on their own contract, or players themselves, I guess. Teams do as well. There's Steve Matz, 2023, and O'Neill Cruz, Gold Border. But I think they said that was what was, what kind of held it back. Tony Gonsolin to 2023. He's having an excellent season and just ran some injury issues in the last month or so of the season. And he just was not, just could not get back in time to get ramped up for the playoffs. Kyrie. And Joel Embiid. Um, oh, I guess they're starters, and then they draft. They draft the uh, rest. Something like that. This is better live. They used to do it on like a Zoom call last year or something like that.
Here's Kevin Crimeer and Adrian Beltre. Nice. Baseball Stars autograph. He's got excellent penmanship. Rangers. That's for Joshua in Texas. Second pick is Kyrie. Pete Alonzo. And we got a Jordan Alvarez to 300. Nice. That'll be for Franklin and the Strohs. Stephen Kwan, all aces, Garrett Cole, and Major League Material, Bo Bichette. Franklin with Toronto. In Seattle and nice Carlos Carrasco to 2023. Jacob DeGrom to 75, and a Christian Morel City Connect relic. That will be for Kyle and the Cubs. City Connect cat patch card. Still Mets edition of Jacob DeGrom's going to Franklin. And Miguel Vargas for my Dodgers, Sean Kelly. Kiebert Ruiz. Gunnar Henderson for the Orioles. And the last little stack here. Snell, Sosa, and Miggy. Silver packs, and then finally the final box. Right, 
We made it down to our final box. Good luck, everybody. We'll do that left, center, right randomizer shortly. And then we'll do a quick little uh, recap. And then we'll move on to the next thing. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. The two final silver packs. And the final set of packs here. And uh, if you're interested in um, if you're interested in doing another one of these, you can run it back tonight. Got plenty of time. More training with Mike this week, maybe. Don't know. I don't know what Mike's schedule is this week. His main job is something else, running the eBay. So if it's kind of slower on that end. Yeah, we'll have him do a little more shadowing. If not, we'll do his main job. Final one, good luck, here we go. Let's end with a bang. Let's see if we can get like something super low number, maybe out of 10, five, a super fractor maybe. There's John, Jonathan Daza to 2023. Yeah, that's apparently one of the more legendary ones, right? Mar Marvin Gaye doing the national anthem, yeah. <laughs> And Fergie's now, that was the most, that was the most infamous one. Although I didn't think it was as bad as people made it out to be. We got uh, Brad Miller. Harris, there's a Riley Green right there for Detroit. That'll head out to Ed. Prado, and we got a Max Scherzer, 43 out of 50. Nice. That's for uh, Franklin and the Mets. Is that Jewel? JT Brubaker to 199. I think it is.
Corey Seeker. Yeah, Logan, she, she's uh, she's still looking. How old is she now? She's still looking pretty good. Still got the pipes. As well. Here's Major League Material, Riley Green. Tigers, that's going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Ed P. Jewel is 48 years old. She could pass for 38. Um, I was wondering why she was doing the uh, national anthem, Logan. You're going to go, tickets are too expensive. Yeah, they, they are. She was born in Payson, Utah. Is that, is that the connection? Dad went to BYU. And I think they went back to Alaska shortly after her birth. But I guess she has that, uh, her and her family have a, a loose connection to Utah. Max Freed. Yeah, her family does have that show on the Discovery Channel, right? I feel like she, she, Jewel ends up making an appearance on there every once in a while. There's a great, uh, fans of Jewel or comedy, there's a great uh, Funny or Die, some of you may remember this, but there's a great Funny or Die sketch or bit where, where she goes to a karaoke bar in LA. It's one in Santa Monica actually, just right down the street from where I live. It's a good spot. Kind of a divey karaoke bar, it's pretty awesome. And so she goes there, but she's in like, they put her in all these prosthetics. She's got like this giant nose and like this all thing, wig and the whole de whole deal, you know. There's CJ Abrams, City Connect. And then she goes there and hangs out at this karaoke bar and she's kind of in like, like sort of a frumpy like business skirt suit or something like that. and. You know, looks like she can be an accountant or something. Um, and uh, and then she goes up there and sings like a Jewel song and just kills it, right? And like people in the audience are like, oh my God, what's going on? Like they're, they're like, well, what an amazing voice. This, you know, this is not the usual karaoke fair. And then they'll do some interviews. It's like, hey, what do you think of that girl's voice? Like, that's amazing. That's great. She should be, you know. And then she does the reveal that's Jewel. It's pretty hilarious. Check it out. The Angels, 2023. Adley Rushman. Man, a lot, lot, of, lot of pre games there. They, they have to do the draft. There's like someone gonna they do the anthems. Now, they, are they doing another musical bit here? I mean, Logan. No wonder tickets are so expensive. You're getting, you're getting, uh, you're getting a uh, game with all the stars, and then you're getting like a concert. So add, add the cost of a basketball ticket, and then add a add a jewel what Post Malone concert with this.
All right. And your redemption is Shohei Otani. Wow. A 1988 Topps baseball autograph card of Shohei Otani. That's awesome. That's going to go to Jason and the Angels. That's a nice way to finish it. All right, nice. Good break for you, Jason and the Angels. We'll do a little recap. Let's do a left, center, right. Oh, is that right, Logan? Who else? What? Who else lives in Utah? All right, so we got the left, center, right randomizer. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times. Side on top gets it. One, two, three, four. And 11th and final time. So left side cards will get them, left side teams. So there you go. Nice. Not a bad break at all, ladies and gentlemen. The Series 1 definitely has some nice stuff here like that. The uh, Those rally cards I think are really cool. You know, old school guys, current, hopefully future stars. And a ton of parallels. A lot of great stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Man, stuff like this. These short printed home field advantage cards are really nice as well. There you go, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Series 1 Jumbo Edition, Random Team Break Number 6. Another one in the store. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.